It is currently day because today is release day for her book more than pretty which is the whole concept of it is so amazing just awesome you know her and I are friends and we've talked about the whole more than pretty concept for years so for her to have a book to come to fruition is super duper you know, women, we always think, or people always think of women in terms of pretty. And guess what? We are more than pretty. There's more to us than just, more to us than looks and um, the external stuff. God created us for more. And so it's going to be me and, um, Pat Smith and Erica talking. Pat Smith is an author. She has a, um, I think she still has a foundation called Treasure You, I think. <laughs> Excuse me. It is 5.30 in the morning though. My amazing sister-in-law just had a baby yesterday. She had a baby girl. Um, and we're super excited about that. So, we're so pumped. Pretty little baby. She has a five-year-old son that has stayed with us for a couple days. And he is just a joy. I always forget how funny kids are at that age. Like, I mean, Funny. This on Get Up Mornings. All right, guys, it is 12 minutes to the top of the hour on this terrific Tuesday. We are still talking more than pretty with Pat Smith and Tony Estes Collins. We've got Grammy winners. We've got entrepreneurs. We got beauty queens. We got mamas. We got wives. We are every woman, all of us. So I'm pretty about that. <laughs> like by yourself. Like everything. Thank y'all. By yourself. We the cooks. Right now. We the yes, cooks, we the cooks. The drivers. The everything. drivers. The, the nurses. Yes. Oh gosh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. The organizers. Yes. The, the trip planners. Yes. <laughs> all managers. Yes. All the managers. Okay, Griff. So we were talking about social media, and there's a bunch of beautiful girls on social media. Right. So so. What do you say to the women that are out here? taking a rib out of their body literally you get a small waist face always be uh, getting a boob job <laughs> uh, butt implants just as single and lonely, <laughs> no dude, nowhere in sight. It's a waste. It's waste. totally for social media. <laughs> Just lonely. Nowhere in sight is hilarious. So. Well, I think some of them say, oh, I don't care. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm by myself. But everybody and this is not a bad thing wants to be seen like i mean see my heart not just my yes. outside they all want to be seen and so i think sometimes people feel like i'll be seen more if i'm prettier mm. if my boobs are bigger if my boobs are smaller right. i mean just whatever like we are never happy with ourselves but i do know a lot of beautiful gorgeous amazing singles well, you right. know <laughs> <laughs> single, single. Let me well, listen guys we're just trying to help and encourage and uplift um, and change the way we look at ourselves really in the book I talk about looking through God's mirror and I, I often say it is a reason why the front window on your car is as big as it is and the rear view mirror uh. is as small as it, as it is because you're not supposed to look back even the side members mirrors say mirrors behind you look larger than they, they really are oh yeah. that's good let's yeah. move forward and look through God's yeah. mirror guys mm -hmm. so much better than mine let's get up mornings <laughs> Man, that's good. Woo! Hey, y'all. Okay, so anytime, 
anytime my glass is so dirty so I can see out of when I have to do something really early like go to an event really early like if I have a super early call time where it requires oh it's hot in this car where it requires me to get up like when it's dark and not just I'm talking about when I gotta get up at like four o'clock, four fifteen. This little thing is knocking, rocking back and forth. It's annoying because the whole day I'm kind of confused about what time it is, what day of the week. Like was that yesterday or today? It just confuses me so bad. So I'm a little discombobulated. I went and did the show with Erica. This book that she got is so bomb. Just the whole concept of it all. But when I left the studio, I went and ate breakfast because I felt like depleted or something. And then I ran by a home store. And when I after I did all that, which only took me like an hour or so, I felt like I was sleep driving. Like to the point where I wanted to pull my car over and go to sleep. But I was like, okay, I'm good. I was really, really tired. The closer I got to my house, the less sleepy I was. I mean, the close, and then by the time I got home and walked in the door, because I'm in the process of decluttering, I just couldn't even bring myself to lay down and take a nap because the house looks so crazy. Like that's the worst when you get like this little energy burst and you like, oh bam, I'm about to, I'm about to uh, declutter and you go and pull all this stuff out and run out of gas. <laughs> halfway through the process it's like lord now I'm gonna, what i'm gonna do with all this and it's to the point where the lady that comes and helps me at my house like clean and stuff it's like i'm just she can't even really clean up good because i keep buying stuff so now she just kind of like okay let me just she just moving stuff shifting stuff around putting you know just trying to get it out of my sight get it where it looked clean but it's just ridiculous i'm like and the worst, I hate going through boxes with a bunch of papers and stuff in it. That's the worst. But it just, it wasn't going away. So I'm like, I gotta do something about this. Cause now my mind, my head feels cluttered. You know what I mean? It's like, ugh, I feel like I can't think. I can't have cooked dinner because I feel just, my head space is cluttered. So I took some time to go through some boxes and I got still got a long way to go and then you know I, you know what I figured out in this process I, I'm a lightweight just just lightweight not real strong but a little lightweight pack rat pack rat I'm like oh no this I find that devil this the devil is a lie we I can't do uh, mm -mm. so my friend and I'm going to go meet right now Joe, she she don't believe in clutter so one day I had her had her come to my house I'm like I need somebody that's not connected to this foolishness in my house so it was a piece of paper. It was a, it was a something that somebody gave me. It was like an older person or, and I was, it was something simple, like a Christmas card. And she was like, what are we doing with this? And I was like, oh, Miss Such and Such gave me that. Don't throw that out. She was like, I said, she was, and she had this look like, what? And I was like, you know, like, what if she died? Cause she an older lady. My friend was like, Tammy said. So what you gonna if she die, you gonna go dig it out? You gonna you ain't gonna know where it is. I was like, oh, you got a point. She was like, girl, throw this in the trash. Like, so it's like that type of stuff. I get all sentimental and it ain't doing nothing but cluttering up the house. Like some of that stuff serves no purpose other than to make the house junky. And I'm so over it. I'm so over it. Over it. I'm about to meet her at a store to purchase more junk. I don't know what this is about. It's, a, it's like an internal issue. I never have a real issue or problem. I don't know. But I'm that person that's going to organize, but I got to go buy the stuff to organize. So you bring... Uh, my husband talking about, you love some containers. Quit blind. You know, like a container. We're going to put this in a container. Put that. So probably if I went through and decluttered all the containers, I have a whole set of containers empty um yeah so i gotta do better i gotta do better 
with my friend Tam Tam. Tammy is gonna help me. If I let I, I she they she be trying to help and I just be like, oh man. But she be like trash, 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 throwing trash, trash. You know, she good at, at just throwing it out. And I'm like, no, but what if I need that? Girl, you ain't supposed to need this ink pen from 1972 that you got at the, I'm real like sentimental like that, I think. I just like vintage, I don't know. But I don't want my house to look like a thrift store, so let's get my life together.